I'm Daniel. I'm Jay-Z. This is Just My DIY. Today, we're going to show you how creative you can be with a Cricut mug press. Yes, you can only sublimate round things, but... What you do with those round things can be limitless. Absolutely. So we're going to create some really creative gifts out of the sublimation blanks you see in front of you. So these cylindrical sublimatable surfaces is purchased from Johnson Plastic Plus, and we're going to go ahead and put some fun designs on it and get ready to gift them. Here we go. Let's get started. We printed everything out on an Epson EcoTank 2720 that we've converted into a sublimation printer using special ink. There's a link to that video that we'll include in the description, but we'll say that this was a sub paper and we used premium presentation matte setting for printing and mirror the designs. Link to all materials will be in the description. We trim things down to size and attach them onto the sublimation blanks using heat resistant tape and covered with two layers of butcher paper. Yep, the butcher paper is really important because this ink can bleed through during the sublimation process and you don't want that inside your mug press. We thought this one was pretty cool because you could actually see it while it was subbing. We use six different sublimation blanks. We won't show you the process for all of them, but of course we will reveal them. The cool thing was that the machine adjusted itself for the time depending on the material. For instance, the glass mason jar took longer than some of the stainless steel tumblers that we had. After they cool, we reveal the designs. We'll tell you about each of these as we build the gifts, but we can say they all sublimated beautifully. After we got this first set done, we decided to go into our stock from Johnson Plastic Plus and do a large tumbler because we had a good idea for that. Up first, vases. This is a 17 ounce stainless steel mason jar, which we use floral tape to create a grid to make the arranging of the flowers easier. We add some water and the flowers. And the great thing about this is that when you get flowers, you always get an extra glass vase, but those kind of stack up and you can't do anything else with them. So having a mason jar afterward is all the better gift. So finish it off with a ribbon. And also note, you can use a skinny tumbler. Yes, so you can do a short or tall arrangement how cute are these? Next up, an aloe vera planter. This is really fun using the 10 ounce short tumbler. The little pot this came in didn't quite fit, so we took it out, trimmed off the rim, and it slid right in. This works well for succulents because they do need good drainage, which this doesn't have. So this way you can just take the little cup out and dump any extra water if you happen to overwater. And now we have the Bloody Mary in a jar gift set. We use a Cricut Maker to write out a cute little direction card that you can see here. And we put that right behind the design in the frosted mason jar with handle from the Johnson Plastic Plus website. That helps the design pop right there. Add a couple of bottles of vodka, which fit nicely inside. Some seasonings for taste. Salt for the rim. And finally, a little bottles of Tabasco. So drop those right in and then screw on the lid. And for a nice finishing touch, add a cute little tag that says just add juice. Tie that around, tie it in a bow and you have a cute little Bloody Mary gift set. Our soap dispenser. 
This is the lid from the 17 ounce metal mason jar with handle that we are going to bore a hole one inch in diameter for that is the size of the pump we found to do this with. And that's a bimetal hole saw bit. It pops right out. Bing! <laughs> Give it a nice little sanding to smooth the edges. No one needs to get cut, stabbed, or otherwise convulsed. Yes. This is a, a soap container that we found that we could had a flat top on it. We could cut it out to the size of the metal lid we bore the hole through. And make sure it fits without ruining the seal on the rim. And force it through. It did fit, but you know, you wanted it tight. <laughs> Once we have it through, this is our counterbalance for screwing on the actual pump. We added soap to our mug. This just happens to be antibacterial. <laughs> we screw on the lid after trimming the straw to size. And et voila, wash your hands. <laughs>Moving on to the dog treat and the leash station. We start off with a scrap piece of wood and give it a good stain. We just wipe that on with a shop cloth and then wiped off any excess. We are setting the back pegs for the way that we're going to hang it on the wall. Yep, we're using little sawtooth hangers for that. That'll nail right in. Mallet. You want to mallet that in to be gentle. <laughs> you can actually get a good bit with just a little bit of hand force and then finish with the mallet. Flip it over. And we're going to set ours centered on the design. And this is another one of these 17 ounce stainless steel mason jars. We'll show you how they attach. We're using a simple pipe clamp you can find at a hardware store, but I'm sure we'll find a link on Amazon for you below. Kind of try and find where our center point is and give it a nice marking. And we gave a tap to start and a drill to bore out the hole in the metal and then hand screwed it into place. Slid the jar up into it and tightened it down and double check to make sure that it didn't pop out. This is for the dog butts. The little dog butt hangers we got at Ikea. And just know we are going really fast on this. If you guys want to see a full video of just this with it a little bit slower, let us know and we'll do that for you. We trimmed off the excess, filed it for a little bit of smoothness, but discovered giving it a trim cap was actually an easier method. Yep, and we found some rubber tubing that we could use. Again, we'll link to that below if you need that. Super glued it in place. Mm-hmm and put it all on a wall. Yes. Just add treats. And items for your pup that you want to hang. Perhaps like a harness and a leash. There you go. Six gift ideas using five different sublimation blanks we found at Johnson Classic Plus. So if you like the gift ideas, you should also like this video by clicking that like button. Subscribe, ring the bell, leave us a nice comment to respond to. And of course, the things you need to do this are listed down below. And if you're not watching this on our website, head over to JustMyDIY.com for more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>